Alright, and welcome back to Crown Falls. This time we can finally finish the palace because we got lots of reinforced concrete. Now for some reasons we get lots of it from Sleepy Hollow again. And in this case here, let's finish this one. Finally. Oh, yeah, I need to do that quickly though before I forget it up here on this plateau for the gas production. Without gas we don't have electricity in Crown Falls. And then let's have those wings here. Tank concrete each. Palace completed. Oh, yeah. Now, palace completed. That's lots of attractiveness again. So we are beautiful metropolis once again. There's some vulgarity in, in form of ruins. So we do have some ruins here somewhere. Oh, yes, in the Riverlands. There are some ruins here that we don't want to have there. This, of course, lowers the attractiveness a lot. There is another one. And I think we also have some ruins up here. Yes. Right. So that pushes the attractiveness again a bit. You don't want to have any ruins here. They're not good looking. But finally, we have the palace. And let's have a walk around in the palace, shall we? Let's have a look. Let's go down here to the streets again. So over there we have the World's Fair on the main street here. Absolutely amazing. And then we have that palace here. Isn't that a, pretty, a beauty? Lots of people are wandering around on this fine day. And then we can just go through the middle here. Into the palace there. Amazing view. It's huge. Right, now that is absolutely beautiful. A nice shot that we have there now off the palace. And I think it, it's looking pretty cool now. So I think we can leave it like that with the statues there on either side. So that is something, yeah, I really do like this palace here. Um, I'm not going to remodel it once again. It's just oh, way too much work there, but it's just amazing. It just fits in here beautifully. We have the big museum then. We have the palace here and the world's fair there. So this is all working out just fine. Do we have something else here that might need something? But so many people look around that everywhere. We have something here still. That might be a very good spot for some additional flowers that we can have here then. I think on the other side too, yes. Just here. That is something. Now let's have a look at the palace itself now that it is finished. We do have the departments that we can use now. So we still haven't used them now. And for the for the departments, that is a huge attractiveness boost. I think it was in culture. So let's have a look at that. Um, down here. Nope, it's not in culture. Where was it? Welfare? Oh yes, that is the one. Three attractiveness for artisan and engineering residences. This is huge. Now this is something big. Look at that. We are at beautiful metropolis now with 4,200 attractiveness. And let's activate this. And I do get the achievement Prime Minister. Because now we've reached the maximum attractiveness level in Anno 1800. Exquisite metropolis. This is the highest one. There's nothing above that anymore. It's absolutely amazing and beautiful. And exquisite metropolis as magical as Cinderella's evening at 11.59. I might say that's a good one. So this is it. Congratulations, you've unlocked all the departments and policies for your palace, but it doesn't end here. Increase the attractiveness of your city and gain prestige levels that will heighten your department effects. Right, because obviously it doesn't end there. We do have the policies. We have here now the prestige levels. So we are prestige level... No, actually, I think we've reached the highest level there. Yep. We have reached also the highest prestige level here. Up here with the highest policies available then. So loading speed 50%, for example, on harbor buildings. That is a pretty big one. So bye-bye ship queues. And trade units have an additional socket here. And VIP specialists now arrive at the public mooring. So... Um, with the public mooring there, we get new specialists now. Not the epic and legendary ones anymore, but the VIP ones, right? So that's something that we definitely want to have there. 
Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Let's have a look at the policies. There are more policies that we want to have here. Um, we have the attractiveness here now. Very good. Actually, there's no need for the botanical garden anymore, but we're still going to have that, of course. Then we have additional 200 tons of island storage and 300 productivity for all coastal buildings. 50 tons, 201. 50% loading time for ships and trading posts and piers. Let's use that. Uh, some propaganda again. Let's be happy with that. And then Department of Welfare is fine. Department of Labor, 10% productivity for production buildings. And extra goods from farms, 50 productivity from electricity, minus 50% workforce needed. And plus one item slot for trade units. Let's have a look at this one here. This just gave me a few artisans. There are a few thousand in artisans. Right. So we can use it. Uh, additional socket at trade unions, I think, is the best one that we can get out of this one here. Department of Labor. Department of Culture. 20% chance of receiving visiting specialists. And improves the specialists now to VIP specialists. Yes, let's do that. I want to see some of those VIP specialists. And then Department of Administration. 200 attractiveness. We don't need that anymore. But item slot at town hall. Influence for engineer residences. Amazing. Another amazing one. We have lots of engineers over here. So this will be a bit more influence, around 100, 100 more. That's fine. That's something that I can use for. That's something that I want to. And I still have ruins. Somewhere around. But those effects are pretty cool. So that's something we can definitely use. Or oh, we are using that now. And... There we have the ruins. Thank you very much. They're gone now. No more ruins, hopefully. Nope. It's now down to zero. So that's something. And we still have the botanical garden up here that we can finish. So in this case here, let's have a fence. A decorative fence then. In this case. And this is the end. Oh no, this is the Christmas fence. We don't want the Christmas fence in this case. And... Here we have the ending. And I think we can actually have it the whole way around it. I think it doesn't stop anywhere there. Right, going then down oh, around here. Behind the music pavilion. So wild animals will not attack this one here. Oh no, there we have to end it, but that's fine. Right, so there we have an ending. Here we don't need one, and I think here we can have another one beginning, going then up here. And then all the way to the other side there. They would also give me some attractiveness, but obviously, in this case, not needed anymore. Right, and I think here we can then end it around it. Oh, this is a close one. Uh, that's just barely working, but in this case, this is working. Right, gang, going then all, all the way down here. Hmm, or we go down here. Right to the street there. And then here along the street. Finishing it off over there. And, whoops. That's fine, then we just need the corners here. Here another corner. Building fences is not the most exciting thing that I know. And here we have an ending. And here we have another ending over here. And these fences are more for decoration than anything else, you know, they're not really walls or something like that, so... It's not that tragic that we have that, very good. Alright, so we have some fences around it. And yeah, lots of flowers, so we still have two, I think, two cargo ships there. Full of flowers. 
that we want to use there. So even if there's now a riot or a fire or some ruins, I don't think that will go down from this exquisite metropolis there anymore. It's just too high now. And then we can have some of those plots here. Now let's have a look. There we have the gardens, right? So here I want to use something like that. So that we have only the gardens here, not the building. Oh, unfortunately we only have buildings there, it seems. Yeah, that's a bit strange. There we have something. Unfortunately, I cannot see just from the item itself if it's a garden or a building. Some of us have to live there we have another soul. garden. You are so generous. Right, so there we have a few gardens here that we can line up here then. Something like that. Collecting more of those items there. And expedition. In the grasp of the tentacular, could it be the kraken? What else possesses tentacles wide as a barrel and long as bow sprits? As you look at claims to have spotted producing from the tr uh, trickle black swell, creature of legend or not, a shadow below the surface is hurtling towards your ship at full speed. And we do have a steam ship, so outrun the monster is probably the best thing. A powerful spurt of propulsion, the unnatural power of your steamship eclipses the chatting shadow from the far, far depths. The ship's horn sounds a farewell salute to the creature who those presents wear is equipped with two clock tower eyes, within which ink black pupils swim delirious. For now, it seems its wait for a suitable mate must go on. Okay, <laughs> it wanted to mate with my ship there. And let's continue. Right, while we purchase some more gardens and stuff like that, the expedition requires our attention once more. Apostasy. The crew needs some common ground. It is a fact that your crew were recruited regardless of their origins or beliefs. And your officers now wonder if this was a mistake. After weeks of lasting rainstorms, the more devout sailors raise their voice. This constant punishment is testimony to his obvious displeasure at the heresy aboard. Something is needed to bring the believers and apostates together before things get out of hand. Convince the sealers to be more tolerant. Your representatives chooses her words carefully. We must believe so that we may triumph. God is a circle whose center is everywhere and circumference nowhere. Quotes the former barrister setting aside her own particular beliefs for the greater good. The crew listens intently and agree that the expedition will not benefit from skepticism towards matters of faith or indeed anything else. And that's the right choice there. And let's continue. Oh, we lose quite a lot of morale for this one. And let's just continue again, purchasing some of them. So uh, Genshin Guardians, we do have quite a lot of them already. Let's go for the purple there. Um, and yes, let's have the Hibiscus Garden. I need six of them in fact, but... In this case, yeah, let's continue. There we have some blue ones again. Oh, and the water lily is a garden. That's good. At least that I know. We have some more white. We need that. And... Hibiscus. Yes, let's get more. Can we... Yes, very good. This stacks at least, so that's a good one. I don't know this one. Pink sugar bush. Let's get it. And... Butterflies. We... Oh, that's the zoo, right? Oriental Jerry. That is definitely a garden there. So let's take this and go back to Cape Trelawney. Water Lily, very good. I want another color there. Marigold Garden, very good. But we do need six of them once again. Another Water Lily. Mm, red, white Petunia is also really really good looking and there we have five of that now that is the same this is just a common and this is a green color i don't know why marigold very good six of them and oh god lily garden let's get them as well and off you go. And the next ship is coming in. Oh, that's rum. All right. Nothing there anymore. Holy moly. I don't want to purchase bloom uh, flowers there all the time. Right. 
but the expedition wants us something again. Mutiny. Clear skies, calm seas and mutiny. The tension has been building the everyday strains of an expedition. What? Morale is at 84%. The rationing of supplies, a lack of recognition from the officers. It has all become too much for the lower ranks to take. They're refusing to take further orders and have united behind a charismatic spokesperson. It won't take much to push them to a full-blooded revolt. Arrange a meeting with the leader. And they soon reach an understanding. After all, the demands made by the mutineers are perfectly understandable. Alright, we don't need to do anything else there anymore. Um, one of my ships though has arrived with the flowers. And there's another one. There we have some gardens again. And we do need the gardens. Let's send both of them back to the old world. Yes, 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 yes. Let's make them happy too. We do have the influence there. And here we can now upgrade that last one. But we should be able... Oh, I need to activate that. That is still a confusing thing. No idea why it's doing it like that. But you need to activate them here by clicking on them. Right, and now we should be able to build this one here. Very good. And the same thing on the other side of the hibiscus gardens that we have here. Alright, having those, we still want to have that garden plot here, so that we have a few more garden items now. Alright, let's build some of more of those houses there. And I'm just... Oh, that's a good one. I'm just waiting for that achievement. That's also a garden. Oh, that's the cherry there. The same one. And then we can have the cherry here. Which is a garden. There we have a block of buildings then. And I need to place normal streets here because we reached the module limit, right? How high is it? Yeah, I can't I cannot do that. That's just way too many modules that we would need for that. Yeah, definitely looking better when we add some normal monument or ornaments then to it. So we have a little plaza here then where people can enjoy the day. And attention, it's still not over. The Coral Island. The storm came from nowhere, wrecking your ship on coral strewn shores. For a time, your crew feel like children again, dancing along the sand and bathing in the sun as they wait a, a, wait a verdict on the damaged hull. When it comes, the news is not so good. Extensive repair is needed, and with supplies so short, there is considerable disagreement. Why concentrate on repairs, given how long that may take, when both food and water are so urgently needed? Explain while the ship fixing of the ship is paramount. You make good progress on the ship repairs by offering a specific motivation. If we can get her fixed, there's a friendly port not far away. While she's not yet ready to depart, the crew are reassured that it won't be long before the ship is back on the way. It might be an idea, meanwhile, to send a small party to look for good food and water. You never know when the next chance will come. And don't be distracted now, not when we're so close. Everyone is in agreement that the ship, their home, is of the greatest importance. By the time the repairs are done, she looks an absolute picture. A sailor has good fortune and finds an equally beautiful conch on the beach. A keepsake for my son, Ralph. And I think that is an item. No. Okay. I'm fine with that. Quite the longest botanical expedition that I've experienced so far. We have the duck pond. I love this one. So the duck pond... On the sides, I guess, we can have them. And another ship full of gardens and flowers has arrived. The 
that's fine. And then we can hopefully finally finish this side here. Yeah. Right, so that we have gardens only. And here. You know what? Actually, here in the middle, let's have gardens too. Only the gardens. So the gardens that I can build with the, the tiles here. Oopsie. And here. And then we have the marigold garden that we can have here. For some reasons, it's not fitting in. It should be fitting in, though. Oh, no, it's not fitting in. All right. Uh, that's strange. Oh, and the expedition has returned. Finally. What do we get out of it? Sacred blue lily, peri, peri shine sunburst, and a pink sugar bush. That's we, that's something we can purchase too. But we got at least um, two epic items there for the botanical garden still. So that's lots of attractiveness. Um, and we do need all the attractiveness for our garden here. Right, so that's these guys here. Those are the... Oh, that's a pretty one. I don't want to waste them up here. Here we just have buildings. Just fits in there better. Right, and here... Let's also have buildings only. Come on, achievement. Where are you? That's that. The buildings over here. And... Yeah. I want to have buildings here too. On that side there. Because... You need to have buildings beside all these... Or between all these gardens. Right, and here I want to have a full garden. Let's get rid of... No, let's not get rid of anything there. I think this just fits there. I wonder if they kind of like count towards the achievement that we have then, you know, so in this case. And then here, can we have a block? Okay, there's something in here. No, there's nothing there. But in this case, I want to have a big guard here. Why is it not like letting me... Oh, the module limit once again. That is really annoying. Let's get rid of those modules up here. And yeah, because we can do it, let's get rid of some of those pavements here. Right, so we can get rid of them without destroying anything. And then have normal pavings in between because they have the same color, but don't cost us any modules there or module count there. Right, so we save lots of space with that, or lots of modules there. I don't know why there is a limit anyway. Let's get that street up there too. Oh, and there is a legendary one. Wilmer, the wild bearer of barracudas. Lots of expedition bonus there. Right, so that's that. We still have those plots here. And there we have those gardens there. Those epic ones. Star Jasmine. Nope, that's not one. Oh no, I think that's it. Nope, there we have another one. Very good. And now I can have those gardens here. Then hopefully more of them. Right, yes, the module limit is way down now. And new prestige level, right? I was waiting for the achievement. 
And then we have the Biscus Garden on that side here, probably something like that down here then. Turning around nicely here at that botanical garden. But so far, what's important is we finished the palace and thus also have seen everything the Seat of Power DLC offers. So we have reached the highest level here. Beautiful palace. And in my modded playthrough, I'm definitely going to make an even bigger one than that. But that is another story entirely. And so far, I hope you've enjoyed it. That's the end of it. And with that, wish you all the best and stay healthy. That's the most important thing. See you in the next episode then.